Greetings everyone, Jono here. Um, I just felt like making a vlog uh, just so I could show my face to the internet. Hi, it's my face. Well, as you can see, um, I live in a college uh, dormitory or res hall because I'm an RA and that's what we're required to call it. But here's my bed and I sleep on it, so. <laughs> Well, being a college student, um, just like walking to class, driving to class, biking to class, it's just over time I've accumulated like, I don't know, just this idea of awkwardness when I'm passing people, not so much in the car, but like on bikes and while walking. And it, it sounds like an odd topic, but I thought I should bring it to light because no one really talks about it. Well, as it is awkward when you're, I mean, I know everyone's experienced this when you're trying to pass somebody, you're about a hundred feet away and you know who that person is. It can either be like, oh, that's a cool friend, I'll high five him, I'm gonna say, hey, what's up? Or it's like, oh gosh, I know that person. I don't wanna know that person. And that can be dangerous sometimes because as you get closer and you go to this area, I call it the hello circle. Well, the hello circle has about a 25 foot radius. It, it varies between sizes of people and personalities and stuff. But for me, it's about 25 foot radius. And when I get in that to that zone, it turns into, I either need to smile, wave, say hi or something, or have no contact with their eyes. Because I know everyone's been through this where you, you're kind of looking forward and you're like, I know this person and you look at them and then you look back and then you look at them again and kind of turn your head. But as soon as you turn your head towards them, they do it at the same time and it's terrifying and then you think about that for like the rest of the day or at least i do maybe i'm just paranoid about it but i'm sure i kind of share a similar conflict with uh, like other people do and sometimes you pass them two times in one day two times not not one you see them and you do that awkward thing and then the next time you cannot make eye contact you will feel bad very bad now on bikes it's different because you're moving a lot faster obviously. I mean it's the same thing. If you're passing someone and you don't make eye contact with them, for the rest of the day they'll be wondering, do they did they like not see me when I tried to say hi or do they just try to ignore me because they're going faster and they really aren't my friend. Another conflict that a lot of people have is when you're crossing a crosswalk make sure you keep moving because I've seen people that'll just like sprint across the crosswalk and act like the apocalypse is like right on their tail. And then there's other people that just like take their sweet little time and kind of like do this like, you know, kind of strut. Like they think that they're like the masters of the world. That's not cool. It's not cool at all. So don't do it. So seriously, just like Keep your eyes directed as you go across the crosswalk. Don't worry about other cars, but just like, just keep moving. Cause it really, really ticks people off if you go really, really slow across it. And it makes people very confused when you go really fast. So I know this is like really nitpicky, but these are just little things that humanity needs to understand. These are laws that need to be set up. Like, you know, we make like murdering laws and other things like that. Like that stuff's important, but these are like etiquette laws and these need to be, these need to be set down. They're kind of like traffic laws for people. I find this very important. And I thought I should share this to the internet. Here you go. Well, have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, like it and subscribe. Please share this to the internet because that's why I made this video. I'm just so excited to share my opinions about college life and passing people and crossing streets. Uh, this is a very serious matter. Bye! <laughs>